All right, whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello, my name is Trevor Murphy, and I'm going to be trying to use uh, various objects from my past, present, and future to uh, represent who I am, and I'm going to try to tie it all together with a theme object. So the first object I chose to represent my past is this very old baby book. Now, if you can't tell already, it's a little bit charred on the sides and it's not quite put together because unfortunately when I was five years old, my family went through a fire and this is one of the objects that survived. And how, I mean, obviously this is a big tragedy and kind of like a little grim way to start off the presentation, but I like to think of it as a positive because even though it is kind of a tragic thing that happened to me, it's still a big part of my past and it's, the book survived, like it was a big, uh, unfortunate event but the book still survived and I try to like represent myself through that and try to survive whatever comes through my way and the object that I use to represent my present is I don't know if you can see this but it's a picture of my training log um, I run cross country and track and I have for three years and um, basically what this is, is is a picture of the month of August and all the runs I ran in August and how this represents my present is because obviously this is what I'm doing presently but along with that it kind of like helps me sh see like what I've done in the past and how I've gotten here um, this website allows me to not only look at like all the runs I ran in the past three years but allows me to look at like how I've developed as a person how I felt each and every day each and every race which is a big part of my life and it helps me stay motivated today now the object that I used for the future is this, let me see if I can get it out here. This Olympic medal. Now this is an actually Olympic medal. I thought about buying one online and just using like a mock Olympic medal, but I figured I should probably use something more personal to me. So what this is, is my state championship medal from cross country. And what how this represents my future is because while I am in college to study um, occupational therapy and get a degree, what I do really hope to do with my life is I hope to uh, qualify for the Olympic trials and the marathon. And this Olympic medal kind of symbolizes the reward for doing that and the reward for <coughs> putting in all that work. And it kind of keeps me like on my mission a little bit. So, I mean, if I'm in the breakfast hall and I'm deciding whether or whether not to get three donut holes or three plates of donut holes, this kind of like keeps me honest a little bit. And the object that I use to tie everything together is this racing spike. Um, this is for cross country and I did use this uh, my senior year. And basically how this ties everything together is because I ran uh, Foot Locker Regionals in this shoe. And basically what that is is a race to qualify for nationals, which the top 10 runners in that race qualify for nationals. And I was doing pretty good. About a mile in, I was in about 20th, 25th place. I was feeling pretty good, and I was liking my chances. And about 20 seconds after I hit the mile mark, uh, this is a very muddy day. I was in the middle of November, and it just snowed, and the snow had just uh, melted, so it was a very muddy day. And I took a step about 20 seconds after the mile, and the shoe came off. Obviously, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm running barefoot now, or at least I only had one shoe on. And uh, that was kind of amplified a little bit because five seconds later, the other shoe came off. <laughs> so now I really was running barefoot, and this is like a big deal for me. This is a big race, and I easily could have quit. I mean, this is kind of like a bad situation. I could easily step on a rock or a spike and injure myself. I could easily twist my ankle. It's extremely uh, muddy outside. But I decided to stay on it. I decided to finish, and I didn't obviously qualify for nationals, but I still consider this like a really big accomplishment. And um, I use this to kind of like represent life, because obviously you're gonna have various like pitfalls and obstacles that come in your way when you're, whether it's running or just in life in general. But if you keep on going, you're gonna be rewarded for it. And so I try to tie it all together with this. So in conclusion, these are the objects that I use to kind of symbolize my life and how I've developed as a person. Um, I hope you learned a little bit more about me and thank you.